People often ask me, how many people are allowed in the room with me during labor and delivery? And that answer really is going to be dependent on the hospital that you deliver at. In our hospital, we really don't have a set rule. I think there actually is a policy on the books, but we're pretty lenient with it, and I think most hospitals are. And so some people are very private and really don't want anyone in the room apart from the, the husband and the wife you know, to enjoy the birth of the baby. Other people don't feel that way, and they like to invite lots of people. So some that you want to think about who you actually want in the room with you. And it's something you want to talk to your doctor about to find out what the policy of the hospital is so that you don't have people that are disappointed. There also may be an age limit about how old somebody must be before they can be in a labor and delivery room. Those are the kind of things that you want to ask your doctor about the individual hospital in which you're planning on delivering. My advice is you want to really think about who you want in that room. First of all, you're going to be completely naked with your legs up, totally spread, and completely exposed. So you might want to think about that before you invite your brother-in-law or your father-in-law in the room there because it might be a little embarrassing for you. Um, the other thing is that depending on how your labor goes, this can be a very emotional time and it can be a very difficult time for you. Uh, you may be you know, in a lot of pain and you may be acting and behaving in a way that you don't typically behave and so you want to think about that as well. The other thing I would caution is small children. I personally think it's pretty inappropriate to have small children in a delivery room. And I always, when people ask me, I say, well, it depends how long you want a monster living under their bed because it can really frighten a child. Um, I know when our second child was born, our first one was four and a half, and he came by just to visit my wife before things were really picking up and all. Just the fact that she had an IV in her really freaked him out. So something that you want to think about because children don't see the world the same way that adults do, and they may not understand all that's going on. And it can be pretty overwhelming for a child to see his mother in, in horrible pain, and it can really be scarring. So I think you want to be really careful about that. The other thing is that sometimes if you have too many people in the room, it can become a problem because not, unfortunately not everybody gets along with each other. If you find that, that you're overwhelmed and maybe you invited people and now that you're in labor you don't want them, just quietly tell the nurse, generally we're very happy to play police and get people out of the room that you don't want there. We can be the bad guy for you, so don't worry about that. We want this to be a good experience for you and for you to have the type of experience that you want. The other thing that I found is that if you have more than two or three people in the room, it sort of turns into a cocktail party, and generally people start chit-chatting among themselves like a little party, and they kind of forget why they're there. They're not really supporting you anymore. So those are some things to think about um, when, before you start inviting people to come and watch the delivery of your child. MedTwice.com